What's up, everybody? TCM here, back with another video. And today, we're going to be discussing the number one way to find a job in cybersecurity. Now, the video title seems like a gimmick, but I promise you, if you stick with me, it's not. I'm going to give you my methodology and all the tactics that I've learned along the way that will help you find a job easier than college, easier than certifications, easier than training. This is the most important thing that you can do for your cybersecurity career. So before we jump into it, we're going to take a quick word from our sponsor, and then we're going to hop right back in and talk about the number one method to finding a job in cybersecurity or in reality, any career field. This video is brought to you by Keeper Security. Keeper protects your organization's passwords with an ultra secure and easy to use vault your employees will love. Keeper enables your employees to securely create and share strong passwords and is the highest rated product in the industry. I love Keeper Security's web interface. Now I can come in here and keep all my credentials for my favorite pasta recipes if I want to, but that's not all. I can come in here and actually create records for lots of different things. We have login records, payment records, contacts, addresses, bank accounts. We can even put photos or driver's license, even your favorite SSH keys if you want. You can store it all in here securely and safely within the vault. Another really cool feature that I like about the web interface is the security audit tool. It tells you how strong your passwords are, if you're reusing any passwords, which you totally should not be doing, and if you have any weak passwords that need updated. As a security professional, I really love that. So what are you waiting for? Follow the link in the description below and receive a free three-year personal plan of Keeper's award-winning consumer password manager. Yours truly went to six years of business school. I did four years in undergrad as an accountant, and then I did another two years of schooling in my graduate school to get my MBA. And I took classes on finance, I took classes on accounting, I took classes on marketing and everything else. And I only really took one thing away from business school, and that was the power of networking. I've seen this as an employee, I've seen this as a business owner, and I've just watched people get jobs because of the power of networking. I've seen people land contracts because of the power of networking. And we're going to discuss why networking is so important and how you can network and land yourself a job by doing so. Now, the methodology that I'm going to talk through today isn't the methodology that you may see some gurus say that you need to go and add a thousand people or 10,000 people on LinkedIn. I took this methodology early on in my career because college told me to do so. They said, hey, why don't you go out and add people on LinkedIn and make some connections? Now, I took that as let's go ahead and add a thousand people and see what sticks. Well, when you add people that you don't know and have no idea who you are, it's very hard to just make a connection. You don't want to come off as somebody who's just randomly adding people. You don't want to come off as somebody who's trying to be overly aggressive in your pursuits of a job or whatever it might be that you're trying to do. You want to make valuable connections. So when you go add a thousand people, which is what I did, I got zero value out of it. I had a bunch of people say, who the heck are you? What can I do for you? And really it went nowhere. What I found was it was better to go and add 10 people or make connections with 10 people. And you can do this on LinkedIn. You can do this on other social platforms. And we'll talk through that. And you might be saying, hey, I'm an IT person. I'm trying to get into cybersecurity. Most likely you're introverted. I'm introverted. I'm not saying everybody watching this is, but most of us spend more time staring at our feet than we do looking somebody in the eyes. And that's because we're introverted. So how, as an introverted person especially, do we make these valuable connections? Well, if you go on something like LinkedIn, for example, you can start communicating with people. You don't have to go directly to the friend request. Why don't you start with reading a blog, reading somebody's posts, engaging with people? There are many people that I engaged with that networked with me, and they started just by commenting on my posts, maybe commenting on a blog, commenting on a YouTube video, and their name kept showing up. And then eventually, when they send me a friend request, I say, oh, yeah, I know that person. I've interacted with them before. Even if we don't know each other, I don't know anything about them. There's some familiarity there. So I'm more inclined to accept their friend request. 
This is the same thing with sales. A lot of times people will reach out to me and they'll say, hey, here's a cold email. I send the same cold email to everybody. You're not special. You get the same text as everybody else. Guess where that email goes? Trash can. I can tell the difference. There are people who will say, hey, I watched your YouTube video or I read your blog or I did X, Y, Z. And here's what I took away from that. And by the way, I just want to make a connection request with you. Even if they're trying to sell me something, guess what? That goes so much further. So your job as somebody looking for a job is to sell yourself. It's no different. Now you are competing with people that have possibly degrees, that have certifications, that have all these things. And if you have degrees and certifications, guess what? You're in the same boat. So what are you going to do to stand out? Well, it comes down to what I like to call planting seeds. You need to plant as many seeds as possible, and hopefully some of those seeds will grow and they will help you. And with the power of networking, you can do that effectively and start meeting people. And you have no idea when these seeds are going to grow and show themselves. You could meet somebody today that will give you a job in 10 years, or you can meet somebody today that will offer you a job in a week. You have no idea who these people in your life are and how they're going to come and go. So when it comes to something like LinkedIn, engaging with people is more important than adding people. Eventually you can get to the friend request portion and you can communicate and contact them. Again, you don't want to be overly aggressive. You want to say, Hey, I see you're in cybersecurity. I'm looking to get into cybersecurity. Can we talk about it? Don't say, Hey, I'm looking for a job. Can you help me out? That is overly direct. And unless the person knows you, what are they going to help you out for? What's the purpose behind that? Not a great strategy. So you want to build up that relationship before you try to ask for something better yet. I believe in the power of community. I believe that the better you are as a person, a little bit of karma here, the more that will come around. When I was first getting started in the industry, I was writing blogs. I was doing YouTube videos. I was doing everything that I could. And even more so, I was hanging out in a Slack channel and I was just helping people through their certifications. I was helping people with their questions. I was just trying to be as helpful as possible. Was I expecting anything in return? No. But what was I doing? I was planting seeds. When somebody read my blogs or somebody saw my YouTube videos or I helped somebody out, you have no idea who's reading, who's watching or who you're helping. Well, it turns out. I was helping people that were getting into the field. So those people remembered me when they got a job and said, Hey, you want to come work with me? I had managers and CISOs and directors reach out to me and say, we would love to have you on our team. I didn't know these people, but these people felt like they knew me. This is the same thing that we do when we're selling, we're selling pen tests, we're selling education, whatever it is we're selling. We have all of our leads are inbound. It's just because people. When they come in, they've seen us on YouTube. They've heard about us from a friend and they already feel like they have a connection. That is the power of networking. You do not have to interact with anybody immediately for that seed to be planted. You do not have to go to a conference and meet and shake hands with anybody. If you are incredibly introverted. Now conferences are great. Volunteering is great. Just planting seeds anywhere you can is great. But if you're introverted like me, maybe there's different ways of doing it. So when you think about sending that next connection request and you think about networking with somebody, maybe add some value behind it. Research the person that you're going to connect with. Try to find out a little information about them. And that goes a long way. When you finally do reach out to them, don't start asking for stuff right away. Say, Hey, I really like your blog posts. I really like your video. And let's talk about that. Talk to me about your career. People love to talk about themselves, ask questions plant seeds and that will grow in time. You don't need to be overly asking. The worst thing that I get when people message me is, Hey, can you help me find a job? Hey, can you answer these questions for me? And it's, Hey, give me something. Even though this relationship hasn't been established, I want something from you. It should be the other way around. You give and you'll get in return. Think about that the next time you're looking for a job, a new career, whatever it might be, even a sale, whatever your industry is, or you're trying to do this advice works wonders. So I believe strongly 
that networking is by far, far and above any lesson you'll learn in cybersecurity, any technical skill you'll get. If you can master networking, you can do whatever you want in your career. And I truly do mean that. I have seen people who are way less technical get way higher paying jobs and land in way better positions because they knew how to network, because they knew how to talk to people. So start thinking about your methodology now, start doing some research. It is quality over quantity. Remember that. There are people that will tell you, go at a thousand people. It's not necessary. Quality over quantity. Start planting your seeds, start working it now, and you will reap the benefits of networking, I promise you. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. My name is The Cyber Mentor, and until next time, I thank you for joining me. Peace out.